So guys, we are at Frankfurt Airport, about to fly to Iceland with Iceland Air. This time I am going to visit the West Fjords. One of the most spectacular places in Iceland. I actually lived there for one summer when I was, I guess it was five. And I haven't really been there since. So I'm, I'd say, extra excited about this one. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. Good evening, dear passengers, and welcome aboard this Iceland Air Airport. Just landed in Iceland. <laughs> We arrived in Isafjörður. Beautiful. Nice and quiet here. Our first stop is gonna be a hike to Nöstakvilft. And it's right up there. Nöstakvilft. Very easy to pronounce. I used to live there on the other side of the fjord here, Isafjörður. And I remember my family, they used to take me up there. I was five or six. So I should be able to do it now too. Wow, look at all the rocks that are falling from the mountain. A Lonely Planet voted this the top region of Iceland, best in travel. And I'm super excited to explore this part of Iceland, which is sometimes called the head of Iceland. Just driving, looking out the window, it's like, it's so beautiful here. Sig, you just said that you can't put your camera there. I understand that. It's a little bit annoying that I can't even have a small break. Yeah, <laughs> a three hour flight from Germany and you're in Iceland. A lot of people say to me, how long is the flight to Iceland? Is it six hours? Is it seven hours? Because here you're in a different world and I understand people that think that there's a long flight here, but actually it's a three hour flight, a very comfortable flight. And you're in this, and this is what you have. Iceland is on my bucket list. I've always wanted to go to Iceland. Guys, seriously, just make it happen. Welcome to Little Bair, old traditional farm in Iceland. So charming here. In 1894, this farm was built. Now, this is just rocks and grass. And these were the Icelandic houses until, I mean, my grandmother lived in one of those. Building houses and stuff like that, we were way behind other nations. Next up, Heitavir. The woman who runs it and owns it is my old school principal. Wonderful woman. So, uh, very much looking forward to seeing her and to see what she has done with this place. We're getting ready to go horseback riding. Olga, you did absolutely amazing. I'm proud of you, okay? You told me you didn't run, but you really ran with me, huh? Good job. You want grass? Yeah, have some grass. Look, I have a grass, no problem. That was a proper horseback riding tour. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 